It's day one at Winter X Games 16, coming to you from Aspen, Colorado. The first day of competition included finals in both men's and women's ski slope style and snowmobile freestyle. Also practice began for one of these X Games most popular events, Snowboard Superpipe. First up was ski slope style elimination. Bobby Brown, PK Hunter, and Russ Henshaw all advanced to tonight's final. Uh, right now we just had ski slope style eliminations and uh, I got third place so I made it into the into the final tonight which I'm really stoked on and hopefully can change in my run and you know see what happens. Kaya Tursky captured the first gold medal in Winter X16 in the women's ski slope finals. In her final three runs, she went from second place to third and in her final run a 10 to secure her three-peat. My cam liners wasn't working out for me so much, so I just decided to go for the 10. I like to land switch and um, there it was, I got it. Forrest Bailey brought home the second gold medal of the day in Snowboard Street. Ryan Sheckler caught up with him after the event. Forrest just won the, uh, I, I call it street snowboarding. It was pretty awesome. Definitely a different event for the X Games, which is cool because you get bored of seeing the same stuff every year anyways, and it's, uh, I thought it went really good. Yeah, I was hyped. Over at x -Fest, the Red Bull Energy Station was buzzing with activity. Athletes stopped by to meet the fans and sign autographs, including Tanner Hall, Greg Brents, and Simon Dumont. A little autograph signing for the kids right now. It's been going for a while. A lot of kids here at X Games 2012. Prior to the start of the evening's competition, the athletes gathered and paid tribute to Canadian freestyle skier Sarah Burke, who passed away last week after a tragic training accident in Utah. A candlelight vigil took place in the Superpipe, where she would have competed. Sarah was considered a pioneer in this event and had won four gold medals in women's ski super pipe. She will be missed. Sarah, I love you. And I can't thank you enough for making me believe that anything is possible. Despite breaking his left tibia less than two weeks ago, Levi LaValle showed up at Winter X in good spirits and commentated during the snowmobile freestyle finals. The last event of the day was the much anticipated men's ski slope final. The competition held for the first time at night. It's kind of scary because there's still a lot of really good riders to go, so we'll see. Bobby Brown, PK Hunter, and Russ Henshaw were all on hand and put on quite a show, but it came down to the youngest skier on the slope style roster, 17 year old Nick Gepper, and Tom Wallish, who won his first US X Games gold medal with the highest score in Winter X Slope history of 96 on his final run. Yeah, the event's amazing. It's X Games. It's the biggest event of the year, and you know, it's a bummer I didn't do as well as I would have liked, but it's all good. That's all the action from day one at Winter X Games 16. Throughout the day, the clouds rolled in, and tonight and tomorrow's forecast is for snow. Friday's highlights include the women's snowboard slope final, Simon Dumont in men's ski super pipe elimination, and snowboarding big air final, featuring Mark McMorris and Sebastian Tutan. See you tomorrow.